So I'm very excited to be here. Um, just to give you a little bit of background. So, so the, the whole genesis of my company started around 25 years ago with my oldest child, Julia, when she contracted Lyme disease. I have a pre-medical background. And so when I started to an analyze her major symptoms, which were pain, systemic inflammation, and toxicity, I wanted to understand a little bit more about how I could help her, not just as her health practitioner or doctor, but as her um, parent managing her home life. And that's a very unique situation because in today's society, um, we certainly need health practitioners that are professionals in different areas. But 99% of, of the health care that we do and we care for each other happens in the home, in the home dynamic. And so I thought about what I could do to help support my daughter's journey, her own health journey through, through Lyme disease. 22 years ago, Lyme was at its very infant stage. And um, we, we got aligned with the, the top Lyme literate doctor of that time and still is one of the top doctors of today to manage her primary care. And so what I chose to do was just search for the best ways to help my daughter help her manage her disease. And what I centered on was toxicity and the best ways to try to help her um, manage her toxicity. Today's presentation is about the world that we're living in and the toxic world that we're living in. And um, as, a, um, as a company in looking and organizing our technology, what I discovered was that um, even though there are chelation and there's dilation and there's different kinds of um, ways to detox, there's, I discovered way back when, this is 22 years ago, that there are certain frequencies of natural sunlight that will mobilize all the toxins in your body. And that started me thinking about, well, this is really a great innovation. What kind of devices are available for the average person in the average home to be able to purchase to bring this, the beauty of this technology into their own homes and their lives? And at that time, there really weren't any um, devices. And so I sought to develop um, applications and devices for my daughter, um, and which turned out to be based on my her primary doctors, they, we had such great success that they asked for me to make these devices for them, for their practices and so forth. And that was really the genesis of our company. Um, but the very idea back then, the only sports medicine doctors were using infrared technology to help players lower their pain thresholds and re get their bodies to repair much quicker um, than would be normal so they get back to the field and start playing again. Well, all of that stuff intrigued me. And that and I've spent more than 20 years of my career um, discovering different kinds of technologies and bringing them into the devices that I develop to bring them to the average public so that they can bring um, this form of natural healing into their homes and take more, ch take more charge or be more responsible for their own health care. Keep them out of the system in a sense. So what, what really excites me about being here today is the category of the biohacker, the, the idea of somebody that's interested in optimal health. I've spent more than 20 years healing people that have chronic ailments. And so the question is, is even though I can really move the needle um, and make a big impact on, on that kind of person with that challenge, it's really much more fun for me to meet an individual that is in good health, that wants to maintain good health, and stay in optimal health to fulfill their dreams and their bliss, as I call it. So the problems that we have today is really a global problem. And when, we, um, when, when I looked at the principles and the pillars behind Therosage, I basically studied ancient cultures and I study nature. And I've been doing that for a while. And the world of today is much different of the world of Hippocrates 200 years ago. And so when sort of modern medicine started to evolve, so when Hippocrates says that food is his medicine or our medicine, he was right 200 years ago, but today's food is certainly not the food of then. And the world of today is not the same world as it was back, back in the days of Jesus and Moses and Buddha and so forth. You know, when we walked the land, we didn't have the diseases that we have today. So um, what does the environment and the stress of the environment have to do with epigenetics? Because that's the bottom line. How does our environment change our genetic makeup, our DNA and RNA to morph us into people that are basically unhealthy? 
the word stress is is very um, sort of underrated or maybe overrated because you always think about the term being stressed out. But our bodies actually grow by being stressed. Like if you are a bodybuilder, you stress your muscle, your muscle grows. The problem is is excess stress that starts to impact you. And when does that when does that tipping point move over? And when does that stress go from healthy stress to unhealthy stress? And it generally expresses itself in some kind of symptom or dysfunction, like um, cell methylation and, and any kind of symptom you might have. And that's when you know that that's your way of your body telling you and your inner doctor telling you that you have to take charge of your health care and do something about it. Um, we're in trouble. And one of my dear friends, Dr. Zach Bush, has a whole thesis about the sixth extinction, and that's what we're seeing now. This is the epige epigenetic event that we're in, because in clinic these days, we're seeing um, women of age 14 that are showing up with uh, signs of sterility, and we're seeing m young men of age of 18 that have low testosterone. That's not a ne necessarily a genetic disposition. That is something that's being affected by our environment. Okay, so aside from what we know about having problems with the air, the food, and the water that we drink, we also have challenges with technology. Some of the previous speakers were talking about the grounding effects, like uh, Tim mentioned, and um, an earlier speaker talked about nutrition and the way that we absorb nutrition. And then just now we were talking with Klaus, who was mentioning things about sleep solutions and problems, and all of us are living in an environment where we're influenced by EMF, which is electromagnetic fields, ELF, which is extreme low frequencies, and then radio frequencies. These are exogenous frequencies. They are frequencies that are higher than our body feels and pulls and changes our own uh, um, energetic balance. And for that, what happens ultimately is it lowers our immune system that allows us to be open to pathogens or possibly bring forward some genetic or recessive um, traits that we might have that we may never have seen before in our lifetimes, but with all these different uh, um, types of stressors, as you add them all up, um, they take our toll and that expresses itself in a symptom or some kind of disease. So I love this slide because on the top you'll see um, uh, the way that um, when uh, the agencies that actually control the amount of frequencies that are allowed on these wireless devices, you can see that US and Canada and Australia are very high and the rest of the world, like particularly Europe, uh, is very low. Um, it's not that people are superhuman in the US or, or in Canada or in Australia, it's just that the, the agencies that control um, what these the level of these frequencies, they're motivated mostly by money, not by what happens to our health. And the one, the slide below is so impactful to me because of my my, gen, my whole genesis came from treating children and adolescents. And, and that slide that says, I am not a, um, a uh, an experiment, a science experiment. That's what I feel like is what's going on now. We're being surrounded by all this technology without any concern about how it helps or how it hurts our bodies and, and hurts our health. This is an unusual slide because the one on the left, most people have never seen this before, but if you look real closely down on the bottom, you'll see a little white light, and then you see all these swirling beautiful lights. When I showed this slide to young people, they, they, get, a, they get enamored by it, but that, are, that is a slide showing you what an EMF looks like. So, um, and then the slide in the middle is a wireless network that goes up your stairwell. Well, we're surrounded by this. When I teach uh, and I'm on stage in front of 200 doctors, I'll ask them to hold up their cell phones. And um, then I show the slide and people are just taken back by the amount of frequency that can fill a room uh, is really uh, uh, alarming. And what that does to disrupt your neural pathways is also very alarming. So we have a real problem with technology that we have to manage and we can manage it, but it starts from becoming aware. Let's just talk for a few minutes about the power of sunlight and full spectrum infrared, which is the position that we're taking with all of our technology. Um, it helps with detox, with reducing pain, with improving circulation, improving sleep, enhancing recovery, reducing oxidative stress, um, helping with stress, helping with um, slowing down the aging process. These are just a small amount of things that 
natural infrared frequencies can do. Okay, so this is an interesting slide because it shows you basically all the frequencies that come from natural sunlight, and you see basically where infrared is positioned. So even though it's a little bit over to the right and it's broken down into three segments, the near, middle, and far frequencies, um, it represents and heats up more than 82% of the Earth's surface is, um, is contributed to the frequencies from infrared. Why we've taken a full spectrum approach is because the three segments, near, middle, and far, they all do different things. And today, if you looked at and Googled infrared um, devices, you'll see a big range between the near frequencies versus the far frequencies. I follow nature's playbook. They, these frequencies have very particular impacts on our body's health. And if it's developed from nature, there's something in it for all of us. This print is kind of small, but I'll just go quickly, keep going down. Um, this is the full list. The ones that are listed in blue, which is relieving chronic pain, improving circulation, and helping relax and rela relaxing and de-stressing are the three things I can talk about based on FDA. So all of our devices that we make are listed as class two medical devices with FDA. Even though those three blue items are the ones that were sort of pigeonholed to talk about, infrared can help with total body detox, they can help with organ detox specifically, weight loss, um, it can help with balancing your hormones, um, physical therapy and rejuvenation, it can help with people that have sports injuries, with wound care, cellulite, anti-aging, collagen repair, it can help upload nutrition. We heard earlier about how important nutrition is, which is super important. Now, if we just stack sunlight into the nutritional upload, then the body's efficiency, the way that we can potentiate nutrition is enhanced by 15 to 20%. Okay, so 9.4 uh, nanometers is the frequency of infrared that actually harmonizes at the same frequency as the water inside of us. And I'll tell you why in a minute. Water is super important. And if you guys are familiar with the work of Gerald Pollack, Dr. Gerald Pollack, he's taught us that when sunlight, which is the infrared spectrum, influences the water inside of our body, it restructures us. And what he noticed in, in clinic was all people, all healthy people that came in, their water was structured inside. When, they, when he had an unhealthy patient, their water was not structured. And so what you need is actual infrared frequencies in order to restructure the water inside of you to improve cell communication and cell methylation. Also, sunlight will cause a redox signaling molecule, which is the basis of the work of Dr. Gary Samuelson that has created a product that's called ASEA. And basically, it's a supplement. After the age of 30, we, stop making, we start making less redox signaling molecules that helps our body repair quicker. And it also um, helps at when we're producing redox signaling molecules, we, our oxidative stress is very low. But as we get older, we make less redox molecules. And so we have more oxidative stress. Our blood's ability to hold oxygen starts to diminish. And so we age. Now, guess what the answer is to all of this? When I met with Gary Samuelson, he actually told me, Robbie, what I did was, was great, but what you're doing is amazing. We studied your infrared sauna that you make and it actually creates a full body redox response. So it's basically one of those ones that helps with anti-aging. So um, one of the key things to fight off disease is creating a fever inside the body. That's one of the frontline defenses. And so um, uh, infrared frequencies actually raise your core temperature and creates what's called a false fever or hypothermia. And so Using infrared sauna is a great technique to raise your core temperature, create a fever, and knock out bacteria, viruses, parasites, mold, a lot of the um, uh, microbials. Okay, so let's hack our way back to health. Once we're toxic, it's like climbing a mountain, and the healthy way to detox is to come down that toxic mountain slowly, safely. That's the healthy way, and I'm going to basically give you some secrets to that right now. Toxicity and inflammation travel on the same highway. So many people that suffer from various different symptoms that are basically the basis of inflammation, it comes from being toxic. And so if we can properly learn the safe way to detox, then we can both we can also lower inflammation and a lot of the chemical sensitivities, allergies, joint pain, body pain, neurological challenges, they all start to go away slowly. This is one of our solutions. It's a full spectrum infrared sauna. 
Uh, this is showing you the Thera 360, which has trilight, special trilight near frequency panels, as well as the full spectrum. And what you see on the bottom are healing pads. Both of these devices are full spectrum. And what they do is allow you to surround yourself with this specialized form uh, extraction of sunlight that actually will mobilize all the toxins in your body. They come, our saunas come in two colors, basically pearl white and, and black. <clears throat> and that's me at a younger age when uh, I was trying to think about all the different things that go on in my life, but now thinking of looking at that picture and looking at the internet, I can understand why people are overwhelmed and often confused as to what choice to make. So, you know, when you're healthy, you, have, you feel like you have all the time in the world to make these choices, but remember, I'm used to working with chronic um, people with chronic challenges and people with chronic challenges, they don't have all the time in the world to make choices. So in the infrared sauna space, you have wooden saunas, dome saunas, you have panel saunas, near frequencies, you have 10 saunas that are near, and then you have our approach, which is the full spectrum approach. Okay, so with full spectrum, you're getting all of the three frequencies of sunlight with the infrared plus or the Thera 360 Plus, you're now also getting the specialized near trilight system. We, um, we protect against EMF, uh, ELF, and RF. We also produce negative ions, which is a grounding effect. We give gemstone technology, and we also harmonize. Okay, so let's quickly talk about some best practices. Uh, you have to hydrate. The best time to do sauna is early in the morning. Towel up because when you start to sweat those toxins, the infrared sauna will mobilize more than 85% of the toxins in your body. It's important to hydrate, and that means to drink a good glass, eight to 10 ounces if you're an adult, um, about an hour before sauna and about the same after sauna. Using a, a stack of a binder, which could be charcoal or bentonite clay or natural zeolite, specialized zeolite, is super important because it's not just enough to stir up the pond and mobilize the toxin. We actually have to bind it up and help the body get it out. Most people that have symptoms, their bodies are already under stress. Their organs like their liver, their pancreas, their kidneys, their large intestine, these, these organs have been working overtime to try to uh, stay on top of keeping the body healthy. And so let's help the body out by easily mobilizing toxins, bind up those toxins, make them bigger and easier to filter out um, and these are just some helpful hints. Adding salts and trace minerals are important and uh, be conscious of the recovery actions. So detox responses, super important. These are the things to be aware of. Lightheadedness, um, uh, dizziness, nausea, headaches, feeling a little low energy or lethargic. Some people get uh, like little flashes with their eyes. These are all the signs that your body is telling you that you're basically overdoing it from the detox side. Most people think that they, if they're in for a 30-minute session, they have to stay for those 30 minutes, regardless of how their body is responding. The safe way is to listen to the little doctor inside of you, that, that voice that's telling you you've had enough. So that will tell you, that is your guidance. And then let's say you're looking for a 30-minute session in sauna, but what happens in 20 minutes in, you start to feel a little woozy or feel a little dizzy. You stop your session, you mark the time and the temperature, and then you drink that second glass of water, which dilutes the toxic burden. Usually that feeling goes away or abates within probably five or six minutes. And then you can either do the sauna again later on that day, or you can do it the next day. And eventually you'll break through that little toxic wall and move on with your detox protocol. It is important for you to know that if your children are doing sauna, which I do recommend, their bodies, because they're smaller, they'll react much faster. And so usually we cut the time and the temperature down in order to be more appropriate for their size. These are the contraindicators. So basically the full list of things, the infrared sauna is perfectly good for diabetes, for children, for cancer, for wound care, for um, prosthetics, or even cosmetic implants. If you have high blood high blood pressure or low blood pressure. The sauna and using this detox protocol is really great for supporting all these health challenges. Now, there are disclaimers if you're pregnant, but that's mostly because uh, we're a vendor and we're a device developer, so we're required by law to list those warnings. But there's no real sign that science that says that it's not good for pregnancy, although I wouldn't bring a near or a uh, infrared um, 
uh, like a healing pad right to where the baby is, just as about you're about to give birth. But other than that, it's a really great therapy. Okay, quick stacks. Ozone, aromatherapy, energized air, guided meditation, and binder protocols. So all of those stacks that I just mentioned, when about maybe 36 months ago, I thought to myself, if you're in my sauna for 30 minutes, what can I do to enhance that, that experience? What can I stack while you're in that sauna detoxing that's going to increase your health and wellness program? So I just mentioned a whole bunch of them before. But using enhancing oxygen, either through ozone therapy, we also make a device that's called TheraAir, that's called uh, Forest Air. You can take a nitrous oxide supplement that will also enhance oxygenation. These are all great ways. There's Wim Hof and the Buteco, Buteco method of breathing. So you can do all of these therapies when, while you're in the sauna to bring more oxygen into your blood while you're pushing your toxins out. Okay, aromatherapy, we make a very unique diffuser that's an atomizer, and we do make a few um, infused oils uh, that are pretty amazing, they're blends, but people that follow aromatherapy, they know that it's a form of medicine, and one of the fastest ways to get um, things into your bloodstream is through your lungs and through your skin, which becomes a, uh, another breathing organ once it's when it once it's uh, it becomes hydrated. So when you're in the sauna and you're starting to sweat a little bit, then um, you can put essential oils in, breathe them in through your skin and your nose, and bring that medicine right to your right into your bloodstream. Okay, skin treatments would be like using some kind of an olive oil or using a coconut oil on the outside. Or there's a really specialized product called Numa, P N E U M A. And what that does is it basically is a serum. You, you, you mix it together on your palm and you put it on your skin and it brings more oxygen right to that area for healing and also for blood absorption. Castor oil packing is a 20 year old, uh, sorry, uh, at least a hundred year old um, therapy that came from middle Europe. And so when you bring a castor pack oil um, saturated to the area or the organ that you wanna cleanse and you put infrared healing pad or frequency on top of it, it drives the oil right into the organ and improves the detox event by almost 30 to 40 percent. Mud packing is another great technique to heal all the interference fields and energy fields that might have been created through injuries or through surgeries or through emotional injury, that kind of thing. So you can uh, you can augment mud packing using infrared technology. We're going to finish because I know we're running late and I'd love to entertain questions if we have time. But the things to think about are, and your healthy goals are, to try to find um, the best kind of technology that will support the challenges that you're, that you're having, either a health challenge you currently have or one that you're looking to enhance your overall health to try to build up your immune system and build up your life resource so that you can realize your dreams. Hey, this is how you can get a hold of me by either contacting me through our website, therasage.com, info at therasage.com, or calling our toll-free number, 888-416-4441. And of course, you can go to the Biohacking Congress uh, website and find us directly there. And we are offering um, very, very unique discounts. We do not discount our products. We sell mostly through medical practitioners. And so this is a, a very special event that we're on today. And we're doing our best to support the community in every way that we can. So please contact us directly or contact us through uh, Julia and through Mick, and then we can see how we can um, work together in the future. Thank you. <laughs> Thank oh, you. Yeah. Yes, that was, that's the most important thing. The best medicine of all, right? Yep. Yep. That's true. hundred percent.